Unforgotten Forces is a collaboration of 15 charities that cross the sector to support um, activity for veterans over the age of 65. There are many, many organisations providing similar services and sometimes those needing help don't know where to turn. Each partner knows what the other does and on a daily basis we're helping tens and tens of um, older veterans and, and it's vital that we help them as much as we can. SAFA is an organisation that can offer housing, um, employment, education, training, mental health and wellbeing support, financial assistance for like debt, stuff like that. L literally we can help with anything that can, I will try and help with anything anyway. And if not, we can signpost to people that can help. I started off as an apprentice admin two years ago. I finished that apprenticeship and I started taking that liking to the cases. Like I enjoyed the helping of people and stuff and seeing the difference we were making in people's lives. My name's Catherine Elizabeth Mulrine. I enjoyed being in the army, you know, I enjoyed it, I really did. <laughs> Except for left, right, left, right. I'm usually independent, but I'm going down the hill a wee bit, you know. So uh, I need to get somebody to help me. I hate asking people, but I come to time. <laughs> so she was looking for help with uh, some legal advice, um, some of the dispute with her neighbours. She'd already visited MPs, etc. We'd got the legal services in to speak to her. There was nothing they could have done, so. We try to look at other options of how we could help her. They put the uh, shed up in the garden for me. I've been dying for the shed for a long time, you know. Now I've got it, I'm quite happy. All my tools of the trade were lying out in the garden, I know where to put them. And they've got all rusty, you know. I've got the shed now and I can put anything, I think in a six by four it is. It was something simple but it, it worked in it and then we got an air pollution monitor. Because yeah, we suspect there's a strong smell coming through that's making Catherine very dizzy and weak and um, could that detect like, toxics in there, so we we're going to try and get that proof um, for the housing association. And it's just because kind of our age, they just kind of don't listen to her, for what she had to say, but I think that's kind of how we worked, because we did listen to everything she had to say, and we investigated it. And... Connor helps me a lot, you know, he has been very good to me, you know. If I've got any problems, I just ask Connor, he helps me. I think it's great on Forgotten Forces how it's brung everything together so it's kind of a one stop where you can get everybody working together. I mean we use fairs for free a lot, it's a great service for something as simple as taking people to their hospital appointments etc. It's great that they've all these kind of niche things come together so you can help the older veterans with everything through this one project. I've never had it before, as much help. <laughs> well I tell you something, I'm a wee bit more relaxed in my mind, you know, getting help off corner. And it's good that they, you've got all these organisations, you know, to go to. Go to. And they, I mean, they're nice staff as well, you know. They are nice as well. <laughs>